this thing talking is just a shell controlled by some creatures inside me and those creatures are called mitochondria they are called bacteria they, they, they are called the microbial what call them whatever you want to call them these are microscopic beings when you die they don't die they just leave <laughs> so It's me again huh? I don't come again today with another video anyway by the way if this is your first time if you've just come across this channel eh, I have some very interesting videos you can browse through and just enjoy yourself by viewing some of them and it's like it's uh, gonna be sunny today so um, pardon me for the sun this thing reflection in the video and all that eh? So how are you guys? How are you guys? Your Niger guy again, your Niger nutritional guide. Um, for those of us, for those of you in Nigeria who want to live healthy, and um, if you want to live to see your grandchildren, if you want to live and enjoy, you know they say health is wealth. Eh? Yeah, and um, it's so true. Eh? Health is wealth. So, um, what's the point of accumulating all the money, all the wealth, all the riches if you can't enjoy them? If you have to go every other week to the hospital to get checked up, if you have to, to travel every other weekend to some foreign country to get filled up with blood, uh, with their drugs and all that, what's the point of hustling if you can't enjoy that them wealth where you they hustle, they keep? They accumulate so health is wealth man it's better to be healthy believe me it's better to be healthy than to be wealthy trust me on that see when i speak i'm speaking from I, i'm coming from the angle of a wealthy guy someone we don't see money someone we don't see life i don't see things you know i came from um, yeah i had like a rich dad but I hustle for everything. Everything I own today, I hustle. You see, I started hustling at the age of what? 13, 14. Started hustling. Left our, left my village at the age of, I, I can't remember. Moved to Lagos only with, with a sack back. Made some money in Lagos. <laughs> so, it's a whole nother story, which is not the reason why I'm here in this channel. This, why would this? I only want to like bring you guys in knowledge. Um, what I want to talk about today is, um, not damn, it's too close, man. What's going on, people? It's Henry Crackhouse, y'all. Nutritional guide, your Niger Pigeon English nutritional guide on YouTube. For those of you where one live long, if you are a Niger person, if you are a black melanated person, and you you plan you you, you dream to live to, to see your grandchildren, your great grandchildren, pay attention. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, for those of you that haven't subscribed yet. Please do me a favor, subscribe, like, because it helps the algorithm um, suggest my videos to some other like-minded Niger people. <laughs> so, one thing I get to talk about today, because today I, will, I, I could uh, narrate this video, I could uh, make some of English and Pigeon. Because the reason why I have chosen to use Pigeon to narrate my videos is because I want to reach as much people, as much Niger people as possible, you know. Because we do our everyday transaction in Nigeria in Pigeon English. Our mama, papa, they better, they, they better understand Pigeon if you yarn Pigeon with them. Because nobody say they know they speak the Queen's language, but truth be told, you know. The Queen's language is really not our language. We've got nothing to do with it. We invented a way of communicating since we are a very diverse people. You know, Nigeria is a very wide, large nation with a, with lots of ethnic groups and you know we speak different dialects and so we came up with a way of communicating so we can better understand ourselves and that is by way of Pigeon English. So I'm going to narrate this video in pidgin and in english so what's in the apple so as you don't see for the title of this video i talk say see the more you dig into 
the study of human being. The deeper you go, the, 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 the deeper you uh, you go into the study of the human physiology, the weirder it becomes. They can talk that in pigeon. The more way you they study the human body, how the human body supposed to work, the scarier it could become. It could they make you feel kind of. It could be like you day into the occult. The deeper you go, the deeper you study the human physiology, the human body, internally and and uh, you know everything, everything. The weirder it becomes, it it starts to feel like you are into the occult. It's like you begin, you know, things start getting weirder. The deeper you go, the weirder things starts to like get. You I know what I mean. Eh? Did you know that your body can regenerate? Did you know that if you cut your hand off, your hand can grow back? You can grow back. Did you know that it will only take a very long time to grow? In that long time, the, the reason why it could take a very long time to grow, be say, humans initially, you do read your Bible, right? And you see some people in the Bible, they live, they were able to live to a thousand years. Am I lying? There are people in the Bible who are able to live to a thousand years. The human body being, the humans, we humans, humans, the original human being of this planet was designed, we're designed to live forever. We are everlasting, eternal beings. So if you cut your hand off, take this, your hand, cut it off. Give it time. It will grow. It is supposed to grow back. Grow back. Uh -huh. I, I, I don't mean to heal. I'm not saying heal. I didn't say it's supposed to heal itself. No, I said it's supposed to grow back. Grow back. Feel like say you know get what I mean. If you cut your hand off, hmm, you cut then the palm. You, you know you remove the palm with all the fingers attached to it. The original human being, that hand will grow back, grow another palm, grow fingers attached to that palm. Fresh. You don't ever see lizard. If you cut the lizard's tail off, what thing they happen? It will grow a new tail. It will regenerate a new one. A human being was supposed to, was intended to be like that until we divert from our ways go to begin to do something else when you were created when you were created you were created in the whatsoever created us created us with spare parts with leftover so all the spare parts your ears your nose your hand everything you have duplicates of them stored in your spinal cord <laughs> oh man the deeper you study the human being, the weirder it becomes. Everything, every part, every organ in your body, every organ in your body, in your system has a duplicate, has a spare part, which is stored in your spinal cord. So if you cut your leg, if you if, if by accident you cut your head, you lose your leg, if by accident you lose your finger, your finger, your body has the capability has the ability to regenerate and grow that part of your body back it's the reason why you can reverse every you can reverse every sickness everything anything where they worry you you can clean it's the reason why you you heal yourself when you are quote unquote sick it's the reason why you can you can regenerate that you can heal your lungs you can heal your heart you can you know if you have glaucoma or something block your eye you do the right thing eat the right food detox yourself cleanse yourself you heal that glaucoma will go away if your body will repair that eye if you have bad teeth you start doing the right things your body will repair that do the damn teeth if it's the you have the spare parts are stored in your spinal cord so your body only needs to like send message to the this thing to the you know to, to the, this thing and they they bring those they bring for them to bring the spare parts out bring the spare they go into your spinal cord bring the cells uh, don't forget we are walking cells 
we are just a bunch of cells attached to each other they just stick to each other we are really not a solid creature like solid creature no we are tiny 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 tails 150 trillion of them just stuck together and controlled by the mitochondria which is like which is another topic i have to make a video on that but on this particular topic because it's like well we are a robotic well we are like a biological robotic entity make a put on like that we are like this thing talking is just a shell controlled by some creatures inside me and those creatures are called mitochondria they are called bacteria they, they, they are called the microbial what call them whatever you want to call them they are the ones the original the beings controlling manipulating us to do the things we do that's why you need to feed them healthy uh, things that is why you need to take care of them you need to behave right you need to act right if you don't act right they turn off your switch and leave these are microscopic beings. When you die, they don't die. They just leave. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's funny. It's funny but weird. It's very weird but funny. When you die, when your body die, when you die, what goes into the box and they put it into the ground six feet and covered? That is just the shell. The shell. When you die, they leave. Those organisms, those things controlling, manipulating you, they leave your body and room the space looking for another body to inhabit. The deeper you go into the study of the human physiology, the weirder it becomes, the weirder it gets. Believe me. Your body can regenerate because it has, you know, there are spare parts. You have space for every organ. There is a space. There are hundreds of spare parts, hundreds of cells of that same organ stored in your spinal cord. That's why your body has the capability to repair itself, to regrow, to regenerate. You cut. The only way you can, the only thing you can regenerate is if you remove your this thing. You remove it off. That is why that, that is when you die. But say you blow your one part of your face off, your body has the ability to heal it. It's only going to take a very, very long time. Which is why we were designed to live for a very long time. So continue watching the video. The deeper you study human physiology, the deeper you go into the study of a human anatomy, the weirder it becomes. I'm telling you guys, ever since I started studying the human body, how the human body is supposed to work, there are things I have discovered that is like, you know, it's mind-blowing. Believe me, there, there are things that don't come to find out will be mind blowing. I don't know whether the sun they really affect this video, I'm not sure, but if it is, I'm sorry, man. Since I started studying the human body, human anatomy, and start studying human the inside of a human being, how they how a human being is supposed to the function of the DNA, the function of the adrenaline adrenosine what is it called the uh, uh, adrenosine triphosphate atp the function of the mitochondrial the function of your um what you call blood the function of what you call the, your immune system which is the lymphatic pathways the function of the uh, everything everything since i begin study the human body it get things where I don't come. I have come to re, to you know to, to to realize so many things, and it's making me feel a kind. Of, sometimes I'll just like sit and like be like, damn. I'll be like, damn. See, eh? See, I tell you, I tell you like this. I tell you like this. Uh, and when I say, um. When I say the story of a human, I'm talking about the melanated beings, the melanated people of this planet, because these are the people I know. I'm not going to come here and miss you and start saying things about 
some people I don't know. So I'll be speaking of the people I know. And by that I mean the quote-unquote black people. These are the people I know. Why? Because I'm black, I'm melanated, I'm from the continent they call Africa. So I, I my story has been mainly on this group of people. And um, but did you know that there are so many things, there are so many... And anyways, I make a note divert from the topic of this video because I want to keep it, this video very short. Do you know why your mom, your mother is still alive, your grandmother is still alive, your great grandmother is still alive, but your father died a long time ago? <laughs> it's funny, yeah. <laughs> I tell you guys like this, uh, I, I, I tell you guys like this, the deeper you go into the study of the human anatomy, human physiology, the functioning, how the human body is is supposed to function, the weirder, the, you know, the weirder it gets. It, it, it starts to feel like you're in the highest degree of occultism, trust me. Do you know why your your dad died a long time ago, but your mother is still working work, strong, your grandmother is still strong, your great-grandmother is still strong, but your father died years ago, your grandfather died hundreds of years ago. Your Do you know why men die quicker than women? <laughs> See, eh? <laughs> oh, God, eh? And them could tell you if you ask a doctor, they will start to explain things they teach them, or there were things that they were taught at, at their, when they were studying for medicine and stuff and shit. They will start telling you things that don't make sense. Why? Because most of them don't know. Like I said, the deeper you go, you know, the, the deeper you go into the study of a human being. It's like you're you advancing in the you know in occultic degrees. Like you get degree one, you get D two two. They enter the printings and all that. You know, you know now till you reach the Scottish right and then past the Scottish right, they go, they go, come reach the territory. Then you once you reach the territory, you know, and you go past. They go the forty something, go the forty seven. They go, but most people think uh, the highest degree you know calls that thirty three. You know, lie. Anyways, don't be waiting. Don't be waiting. Believe me, take it from someone. We don't be awkward. We don't do that. You know, I've been there, done that. So, um, the more you study a human body, the weirder it becomes. It be like say you day into occultism. Believe me. Do you know why your father died years ago? But your mother is still alive. Your grandmother is still alive. She's still... Despite say she fat past your papa. They, <coughs> despite say she know they work hard. But your papa been the work hard. But he died a long time ago. <coughs> Today I'm going to let you guys on a little secret. Eh? <laughs> I'm going to let you guys on a little secret. I'm going to tell you guys a little secret. I'm going to tell you guys why. The reason be say the reason be say it ain't your face. It ain't, it's a very you know the, the, the reason why be say this thing they happen every day. It ain't your face. You just can't see it. Because you know see the devil is very good at hiding things. <laughs> it's like for those who believe in you know church and God and Satan and all that bullshit. See eh? the devil is very good at hiding things. The devil will, will hide things in plain sight. It will hide, you know, the devil. You know, the devil, the devil, the devil, the devil, the devil. You know, because most people, when they say the devil, when they hear someone say the devil, most people expect to see some guy with horns and, you know, some weird looking guy with, with two horns and, and, and a beard and goody and all that. My home, my, my people, the devil, you know, the devil savvy hide things in plain sight, eh? The reason why your father died a long time ago, be said, 
Sorry, sir, I don't take too long to explain. You know. Stop fucking. <laughs> it's, it's funny. It's funny. To, you know, when I think about it, it's funny. Anytime I think about it, it's like, wow. The day I found that out, I was like, what? Stop fucking. Let me explain. I don't know if I should explain that in English or I should use pigeon. No, no, let me use pigeon so that our oh, papa for village can understand. Say, anytime you ejaculate, anytime where you they ejaculate, spam, they come out out of your sack, they come out out of your balls. Anytime you release sperm, you don't shorten your lifespan. You don't shorten your lifespan. If you were to live a hundred years, you don't shut them down to 99. Anytime you release, next time you release another sperm, you shut them down to 97. So, 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 so. In couple with the fact, say, men, men don't really take care of themselves the way women do. Men, they smoke, drink, do all what, you know, they do odd jobs and they don't really have time to look after themselves. But women do. <laughs> women do because before a woman will leave the house before a woman leaves her place of uh, her house she will stand in front of the mirror take care of herself and make sure that she looks good men don't do that see make I repeat that again the more, the deeper you get into the study of a human anatomy, the weirder it gets. It becomes very scary. When you start finding out things, it becomes very, very scary. You start to like, for real, these things you wouldn't read in books. You wouldn't see this, you know, this kind of information. You wouldn't hear them. You wouldn't hear them anywhere. You wouldn't see them on nationality. You know, you wouldn't read them in books. They are in books, but those books are not in your uh, in your ordinary everyday lab. Uh, um, uh, 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 what is this place called? Um, bookshop. You won't find them at your everyday library, no, because they don't want you to get this information. This information is reserved for. Remember when I said the deeper you go into it. The way that it becomes, it's like you're advancing in degrees, in the occultic degrees. Like, this information is meant for a selected view, for a selected group of people to know. It's called, um, um, uh, uh, you know, it's called the, the um, it's the knowledge that is, you know, it's supposed to be passed down from a priest to a to to a student, then when that other priest don't die, then the student becomes the new priest. The student will teach it to a selected view, to a selected view, to a selected group of people. We don't attend this school of the Egyptians. The Kemites used to call it school of mystery, where they will teach you all these things that they anytime you ejaculate as a man, you don't shorten your lifespan. That's a fact. You wouldn't read it in any book because they don't want you to know. There is this practice they call cockholding. Cockholding. If, if you're into sex things, you know what cockholding is. Where a man will hire another man to come have sex with his wife. Well, only wealthy people, super wealthy elites, people who are in the highest realms of occultic this thing practice. They practice their, you know, they are, they engage in these things. They will they will invite younger men to come have sex, fuck their wives while they wash, because they don't want to have sex with their wife. It's, it is not because they can't have sex with their wife. No, they just don't want to ejaculate because. The more semen you keep you store in your body, the more semen you store in your body, the higher your spiritual level is. You know, the, it, I don't know how to explain this thing, but it's very, very weird. 
the, the most pain, the most semen you store in your body. How do I explain this? Man? <laughs> this is weird. I don't want YouTube. I'm being very careful. I don't, I don't, I don't want to say things that will make YouTube take down this video, man. Because this video is very, very informative. The hell? <laughs> the more semen you store, you hold in your body. The more you hold in your body, the more it uh, it helps you reach the highest level of uh, it. It, uh, it helps your chakra. It, it's like the, the, there is a level you, you will reach. You can move things. You know the Jedi. <laughs> you start you start acting like the Jedi. Have you ever seen a virgin boy? Have you ever seen a virgin boy? If you've never seen a virgin boy, look for a virgin boy who is like 18, 19, 20, 21. A guy who is virgin, who is a virgin, 21, never jacked off before, never had sex, never ejaculated before. Watch the behavior of that boy, that guy. You and compare that guy to, to some other person. Where don't they, you know, they do all the doing things, you know. You will see, you will notice what I am telling, what I'm talking about now. You could see, say, I know the lie. I'm telling you guys, it's mind blowing. The more semen you hold in your body, the more it makes you reach the highest state of homeostasis. Believe me, it's it's like you. It, and then if you come eat the right kind of food if you come eat fruits if you eat fruits and the right kind of food and then hold the cement in your body believe me you can become a jedi <laughs> even i know it's in jedi be you know you don't watch star trek now you see jedi they do magic and you know they do tricks film tricks you know the more you hold your spam in your sack and your body for so the more it's I'm sure YouTube is going to take this video down, by the way, but, uh, so, the reason why your dad died a long time ago is because your dad was fucking too much, drinking beer and all that, but was ejaculating, 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 and your mom was taking that ejaculation, was receiving that life force. Your mom, your grandmom was at the receiving end of them life force. Don't forget, these are cells. These are cells. These are these are parts of your dad. Parts of these are these are life form, life force. Sperm, you release the semen. These are life. They, they, you know, this is a life. You know, you you ejaculate into a woman. That woman, that you know, they spam a, a the whole weird battle. A very like, a, 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 how do I put it? A very bloody battle goes on among the spam. You know, they fight each other till the last one. They you know the so you know the strongest will enter and fertilize the egg and creates a new life. Which is you. So it's a life force. This thing is a life force. The longer you hold on to it, the better, the better you become. But the more you ejaculate and get rid of this life force, the quicker you will die. It's a fact. <laughs> the fact they no go teach you. Man, the, the, the day I found this thing out, I was like, what? Then I started adding one and one together and I was like, what? I, I'm not interested in becoming a doctor. I, I, I don't want to become a doctor. I don't want to become a surgeon. I, I, I don't want to become many of them bullshit. I only want to study and know how the human, our purpose, why we are on this planet and what created us. And why we are sick and dying. I want to know the reason why and how we can stop getting sick. How 
we can prevent what we call sicknesses. That is why I'm studying human physiology. That is why I'm studying biochemistry. I'm not interested in becoming a doctor. I don't care. But I want to be able to go home and teach my people, tell my people and help my people tell them, say, look, the things you're doing, you've been doing them wrong. I want to go home and tell my people, say, look, you're eating wrong. The food you're eating is killing you. Anytime I tune, I go on social media and I'll see videos of Africans, they wake up in the morning, the first thing they do is prepare themselves a cup of coffee, they, they add the cow milk, they add sugar, and I'm like, who taught us to do these things? We as melanated black people, we are not supposed to in fact, no human being is supposed to drink the meal, the paws and blood of another animal. Have you ever seen a cow give their babies the human milk? No. You're a human being was supposed to drink to suck the breast of a, a woman for only three years, from year one to year three. After that, you don't need it anymore. Why? Because the milk, milk is an, uh, milk is like steroid. It's a, it's a growth hormone. Milk, 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 now growth hormones. It makes things grow stronger. It makes things to grow. Milk helps you grow. It helps things grow. So have you ever seen a cow, the baby of a cow, a calf? Some calves are heavier than cows, than cars. I'm sorry. Some calves, some baby cows are heavier than pain babies. They suck on the mother cow's titties to get this milk out. This milk helped them, you know, but as them they suck on this milk, you know, like the three weeks into sucking on, on their mother's titties, these baby cows will explode in size. And this is the same thing you're feeding to a human child. No, we are not supposed to do that. We're not supposed to see, see. see. My intention, my intention is not to become a doctor. My intention is to go home and help my people. To correct the mistakes my people have been doing. To correct the mistakes my people have been brainwashed or were brainwashed to be doing. And they are still doing it today. My people are eating, drinking. They wake up in the morning, prepare what they call tea. They put milk, put sugar. It's a thing. If you don't do that in a country like Nigeria, it means you don't have money. And they have this other misconception that when you're fat, that if you're fat, your face is swollen up. I've, I think I've said this before, that if your face is swollen up, you're fat, you're oily, it means you've gotten some money. This is one other bad misconception where Niger people get. And this is what I'm trying to correct. This is what I'm, you know, this is what I want to work on. I want to work on letting my people know that these things are mis misinformation. Who taught you those things? Who taught you to behave like that? The only thing you need is the sun. The only thing you need is the sun. Because see, 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 we do the same thing the trees do. The trees do what they call photosynthesis, right? We do the same thing, but I've forgotten the name. We just, you see, the trees, they use the sun to convert to something like chlorophyll and then they, they do their magic. We use the sun too to convert vitamin D and turn it into B12 and all. So you don't need to drink the, uh, man, 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 see, I have to see, I have to See, I don't tell you guys, the deeper you go into the study of the human body, the weirder it becomes. You start to realize things that you'll be like, what the hell? These things in your face. It's no, the truth, the truth is right in front of us. But they've made it look so ridiculous that if you start talking about it, people start uh, laughing at you. They, they, they've made it look so laughable that people don't want to talk about it. They've made it so complicated that people are scared of talking about or of speaking on these things. We are different. Like I said in my previous video, we the black Africans, we are different from Caucasians. They our internal working now our inter everything in, in, in everything, our biochemistry is just different hundred percent. 
Caucasians can eat meat. They can eat. See, walk into a bakery, you will see Caucasians lying up and they eating all these sweets and they don't look. Fa but check the black woman that that is on that same line waiting to eat that same sweet. You will see how fat and unhealthy she looks because you can you don't need those things. But these people can make use of those things. Their body can manage. Their, their body can 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 make use of those things. But you can't. Your body can't. Why? Because you're just different biologically. The things inside you, your inside is different from their inside. They can eat meat. They have a stronger acid in their duodenum that can digest meat. You don't. You're supposed you can only digest and break down simple amino acid, simple sugar, which are the sugars you find in fruits. The sugars you find in vegetables, simple vegetables and fruits. See, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. If I tell you that I've not eaten solid cooked food in weeks, you wouldn't believe me. <laughs> if I tell you guys that me, me, this guy talking, I haven't eaten cooked solid cooked food in weeks, you wouldn't believe me. I've only been eating fruits. I've only been eating mangoes, fruits, and, all, and I'm getting them in Europe. Those imported ones. And look at me. Imagine I'm in Africa. Imagine I was in Africa and be eating those fresh ones. The fresh ones. Fresh from the trees. From the source. These are things. See. 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 They've made all these things so complicated that by the time you start talking about it, people start slapping at you. They start looking at you like, hey, the, 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 this guy don't know what he's blabbing about. Our people, I don't they see our people, they do things and I'm like, shit, man. And they are dying every day. They are dying in their, uh, 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 I don't know. Every other day you turn to, to on the TV, you see someone is dying, picking for money to go travel abroad, to go get surgery and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, change your lifestyle and your problems will go away. Nobody is listening. It's already 30 minutes. I'm 30 minutes into the video. Oh God, it's too long. Maybe I'll I'll edit it into I'll edit it into two parts. My people, they say a word is enough for the wise. A word is enough for the wise anyway. So I hope say I not been confused on her too much. been talking about one makes this video in english and in pigeon i don't tell you that the reason why your mother is still alive is because your father was ejaculating too much too much sex then say sex is good sex is an exercise true but go out go out for a walk go out into the, the this thing go out into nature and just walk that will be enough exercise for you abby <laughs> if you want to have sex, have sex, but try hold them semen inside. Don't ejaculate. Don't ejaculate too often. Because that the woman they receive that life force. Anyways, I'm Henry Crackers, the Electrician Channel. If you know, subscribe yet. Yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet, and if you haven't like you know, do all the doing things on the channel, then please go ahead, do me a favor and do them, you know. I have some very interesting videos on the channel. You can just click and relax and you know enjoy them and, and you know if you subscribe and like and share this video it will help the algorithm and press um, what uh, suggest my video to some intent like-minded intended viewers you know so i'm Hendrik crack house i will see you in another video till then stay healthy stay blessed and i'm out